Hello and welcome to another video. This video is part one of a series on how to make a workbook for students. A little about myself. Well, my name's Shane. I'm an ESL teacher in China and I am making this video to show you my process and how I create a workbook in hopes that you too can create your own workbook for your students. Quick disclaimer, I do have affiliate links down in the description. Should you make a purchase, I will make a small commission. Thank you for your support. And just so you know, once I finish this entire process, this series, everything I make is going to be available to you for free to download and use at your will. All right, now, let's begin. The first thing we're gonna need to create this workbook is a, a focus point. We need to narrow things down, like a theme, perhaps. And the theme that I am going with, the main theme, is animals. That's my focus. Now, there's a lot of animals out there. And, a, and since I'm taking the ESL approach, a lot of different ways to do this. So I'm going to need to narrow this down just a bit more. So I'm going to break it down into roughly six sub themes. One being the pets. Yes, at the pet shop. That's going to be one theme. And zoo animals. Oh, yes. See, we're just getting focused here. The aquarium or aquatic animals. And also birds. Yes, I went to a bird park recently and I just, let's just say I'm throwing in birds. Birds are cool. All right. And farm animals. Look at these cute little pigs here. All right. Farm animals. And as a bonus for doing all that hard work, we're going to throw in a bonus theme. Dinosaurs, yes, all students, at least the young ones, love dinosaurs. So we're going to treat them to something really cool for doing all that hard work. Now, those are our themes. Now let's talk about the workbook design concept. Just, you know, some of it's a little of this and a little of that, but we just need to narrow it down so we can stay focused. Of course, I'm going to have a cover page. I'll also throw in a design for the I'm not sure what we call it, the end cover page. Yes, the back side of the workbook. Uh, we'll have a table of contents. I know the students aren't reading all of this, but it will help their parents help them do things like homework and review at home. And then I'll throw in like a, a welcome message for myself. If it's me teaching the, the course, I'll usually have a bio page. Students love that and they learn something about you and their parents as well. So this, this is a great idea uh, for your own uh, workbook. And then each theme section I'll have in there in this workbook is going to have an introduction to the theme where I possibly show some of the uh, vocabulary images because we'll have pictures and then we'll have worksheets for both in class and homework. Now, for the themes inside the workbook itself, I'll have, I'm planning on two lessons. So each lesson will have a worksheet for in class and a worksheet for homework. And each lesson will cover four vocabulary words. Yes. And at least one target language sentence per lesson. So we can use those words in a sentence. And of course we need to have some fun. So I'm throwing in a craft. It's all about planning. And then of course we need extras to go with this workbook because I want a, I want a full like ready to go lessons here. So we're gonna add flashcards with pictures, some uh, vocabulary video so they can listen and repeat and at home, by the way, and a target language video. Again, they'll be watching this at home, getting really good with the 
vocabulary and language used in class. And of course, for the teachers, we need a teacher's guide. Yes, lots of cool stuff in there uh, to include like types of activities or if you, you'd like to say games in there to help you out in the lessons. And of course, I'll go over, a, I'm planning this with uh, this in mind. This is my simple 45 minute lesson plan. It never fails me. Start off with the hello, hit up with some uh, listen and repeat vocabulary. Oh yes, then we have an activity or game with those words. And then same thing, same style with using those words in a sentence, AKA target language and also a target language activity. And then we got to settle down for a little short while and have a break. This can be uh, singing with songs, playing a cool game, telling a story, just relaxing, giving the students a short break. And then we, we have some worksheet time there. Yes, and then it's clean up and rewards and goodbye. That 45 minute lesson plan works. Trust me on this. All right. And what's next after this uh, introduction video? Well, the next video, we're going to be making the flashcards. Why flashcards? Well, I need images to work with so I know what type of design elements to put in the workbook and it has a nice flow. So we're going to go ahead and make those flashcards next followed by worksheets. Yes. And then we'll put all that together and we'll have a really awesome workbook for students. That's all I have for you. Thank you for watching. And if you did like what you see, you know, you can consider supporting me on the, in the Patreon community by becoming a official Keto Bob Bomber aficionado. Oh yes. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. And I will see you in the next video. Zaijian. Swapsy is the company I use to get my money from the USA to China and from China to the USA. Link in the description. Com Gateway, the company I trust to send my goods from the USA to China. Link in the description. Thank you for watching, hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Zaijian!